this month the fourth one is about to appear in your fire and the fourth man is Jesus yes. and I want to tell you who he is from the Bible mm. in Genesis he's the seed of the woman yes. crushing the serpent's head in Exodus he's the sacrificial Passover lamp in Leviticus he's the high priest in Numbers he's the pillar of cloud by day and the pillar of fire by night in Deuteronomy he's the prophet to come in Joshua he's the captain of our salvation in Judges is the judge and the lawgiver in Ruth he's the kingsman redeemer in first and second Samuel he is the trusted prophet in first and second Kings he's the ruler of our nation in first and second Chronicles he's the reigning king in Ezra he's the faithful scribe in Nehemiah he's the rebuilder of the broken down walls of human life in Esther he's my Mordecai mm. he is my intercessor yes. in Job he's the ever living redeemer in Psalms he's my shepherd in Proverbs he's my wisdom in Ecclesiastes he's the unsearchable riches mm. in songs of Solomon he's my lover and my bridegroom in Isaiah he's the prince of peace in Jeremiah he's the righteous branch in lamentation he's the weeping prophet in Ezekiel he's the glory of God in captivity in Daniel he's the fourth man in life's fiery furnace in Hosea he's the faithful husband in Joel he's the baptizer with the Holy Ghost yes. in Amos he's the plumb line of our faithfulness in Obadiah he's the mighty deliverer in Jonah he's the God of missionary service in Micah he is justice in Nahum he's the avenger of God's elect in Habakkuk he's the watchman in Zephaniah he's the savior in Haggai he's the restorer of God's lost heritage yes. In Malachi, hey. he's the son of righteousness with healing in his wings. In Matthew, he's the Messiah. In Mark, he's the servant miracle worker. In Luke, he's the son of man. In John, he's the son of God. In Acts, he's the Holy Ghost with fire. Mm. In Romans, he's the sanctifier. Oh, yes. In First and Second Corinthians, he is the justifier. In Galatians, he's the redeemer from the curses of the law. In Ephesians is the foundations. In Philippians is the supplier. In Colossians is the fullness of the Godhead. In First and Second Thessalonians, he is the soon coming King. In First and Second Timothy, he is our instructor. In Titus is the faithful pastor. In Philemon is the friend that sticketh closer than a brother. In Hebrews, hey. he is the high priest after the order of Melchizedek. In James, he's the power of faith. In first and second Peter, he's our glorious hope. In first John, he is love. In second John, he is truth. In third John, he's the prosperer. In Jude, he's the Lord coming down with ten thousands of his saints. In Revelation, he's the King of Kings, the Lord of Lords. The Alpha Jesus. and Omega. Oh, yes. His name is Jesus. Oh, yes.